Hey everyone, I've got an important tip to share with you today. Uh, if you, like me, are storing your barrels inside a garage or maybe inside the house at a time like this, where it's quite warm, um, the wood's going to dry out. So you're going to either need to fill the barrels with a little bit of water, enough to keep the wood moisturised, because if there's water in there, the, uh, the wood will expand or it will remain expanded. Keep it nice and tight, and that's what seals it. Now, if you remove all the water, like I've done, or you remove all the alcohol, and you do nothing else to the barrel, and you leave them in somewhere nice and dry and warm like this garage is right now, hence why I'm sweating, uh, the wood will shrink, and uh, you will come back in and find stuff like this has happened, where a band has fallen off. One's fallen off that one, one's fallen off this one, and these two down here. The only one that's not is the one I've got in the corner that's not full of whiskey, but it's got quite a bit of whiskey in it. So that one's nice and tight, no issues there. Now to get around this, you can either put some water in the barrels, which I've done in the past, the one that's outside right now, that one's fine. You can leave them outside. They've been outside for most of their life anyway. Um, but if you're, say for this one, I actually sanded back the bands and I had this in the house, uh, but I didn't screw the bands in place. So what you can do, that's a bus. Uh, I need the garage door open, it's too hot in here. Uh, so what you can do, if you have sanded them down, screw, use the tech screws and screw the bands in place. That'll keep the barrel together. It'll stop the wood from uh, falling apart. Um, or you can contain some water inside the barrels to keep them nice and tight. But, as we've got to this point, as you can see from this one, see how it's shifting? I think I can just pull these bands off and I want to see what happens when I do that. Should we find out? Yeah, like that. So if you want a really easy way to take these barrels apart, you can literally just wait for them to dry out and pull the bands off. Yep. Ooh, I'm gonna need a hammer for this one. Just like that. Okay. So all we've got holding this barrel together now is the bottom and top rings. Now, this is probably gonna fall over and hurt me. Don't do this at home unless you're prepared for it because this is quite heavy wood. But let's see what happens. That's the top ring off. Ooh. And that's the lid. Oof, it smells quite vinegary. That's your lid off. Let's put that down there. And now, I can just pull the full slats, not slats, what are these called? Uh, staves. I can pull the full staves out now. No issues, no cutting. Oh, oh, just like that. So, obviously this is more of a, a warning in case anyone does store them inside and they dry out. This is what's going to happen. But it's also another easy technique without having to drill or cut to take the barrels apart. Like say if you want, <coughs> there we go. If you want to make a lawn chair and you need the full length staves without cutting it, you don't need to smash the lid in. You can just dry it out and you get a nice untainted lid, no marks on it. And you can get the full staves again, no cutting or marks on it at all. assembly of a whiskey barrel. I hope that was on the camera. Okay, so I'm, I'm gutted that wasn't caught on camera. Uh, this is what happens when you knock over a barrel with no rings on it. But once again, we've got a lovely lid here. Put that to the side. Probably use one of those. 
for this whiskey barrel cabinet here. Uh, and we have a bunch of full-size lovely staves here that can be made into anything you want. Right, whilst we wait for clumsy old me to put the barrel back together so that we can then film it falling over on camera this time, it's worth noting that if you just want to remove the top lid, you can do this by removing just the top three bands. You can then take the lid out, you can replace it with Perspex or another transparent uh, material, or you can fit a secret compartment or a water pump. Once you've finished what you're doing, you just put the top three bands back on, even if there's no lid, and then pour some water in. If it soaks up all the water, pour a little bit more. Or if it's closed off, what you can do is you can spray the barrel on the outside. What will happen is the oak staves will soak up the water and expand, making the barrel tight again, and you can then firmly knock the bands in place. Once in place, you can then tech screw them all together, and that's it, you've got a nice secure barrel that won't shrink, or at least it won't fall apart again. Okay, so it's a lot harder to put the barrels back together, as can be seen in a clip probably over there. So if you want to put it back exactly right and get it to seal again, you're going to need to put each stave in the right place. So with no prior markings, I can't really do that unless I take a long time to figure it out. But as I didn't catch it on video earlier, I'm now going to push it over again so you can see what happens. That was a lot of work for this. I hope you appreciate it. Last time. <laughs> All right, guys, whilst to clear up the mess that I've just made, consider subscribing and help me shape the future of this channel. Let me know if there's something you want to see me build, if there's a build you're currently doing that you need the help of either myself or the people of the internet. And uh, stay safe and have a good one, alright? I'll see you soon.